Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today is going to be a super fun video. I'm going to be recreating some Pinterest outfits that I found. So I think I picked five outfits to recreate and I'm super excited. So let's get right into it. I'm going to explain each outfit and I will show you clips of me kind of modeling them and taking pictures in them. So let's start with the first outfit. I really like this one. It's super cute. I do like the all black kind of look as you'll see throughout this video because I did pick a few um, outfits that are all black. So I wore a leather jacket or I guess it's faux leather um, that I got thrifting. I'm pretty sure it was originally from H&M. And then a tank top from TJ Maxx. It's just a short sporty tank top. Really comfortable for sleeping in but it does look nice in this outfit and a mini skirt from Primark um, and then finally a bag from Coach and boots that I got off of Amazon. I'm not exactly sure what brand they are but they were super cheap so I like them. They're cute. I don't wear them that often so it was nice to get to wear them a few extra times during this video. The next outfit is a more casual one. I really like it just because I want to know um, what I'm going to wear going into fall and this is going to represent kind of what I'll be wearing more daily. The other ones are a bit fancier. So this one I'm wearing a sweatshirt from Colby which was one of the colleges my dad went to. I hardly ever wear this sweatshirt. I usually wear Dartmouth ones but I thought it'd be a great opportunity to wear it um, and it really does match the original pin. Um, then I had a polo shirt on under. You could probably just wear like a white collared shirt, but I don't really have one of those, I don't think. So I just used a polo instead. And then I have some Levi's. They are a bit big, so I was wearing a belt that I got off of Romwe. And then those same combat boots again. In the picture, they were wearing Doc Martens, but... I do not have any of those. I already have too many shoes, so <laughs> combat boots it is. Yeah, this outfit was super comfortable and it definitely seems like something I would wear. The next outfit also is something that I probably would wear. Maybe if I was going to school I would wear this, but I don't really think it would work super well for going around the house because I'm usually out with the chickens and doing stuff that kind of would be hard on my clothes. So I had this sweater from Old Navy originally, but I actually got it thrifted, but it still had the tags on it, so it was brand new, but out of um, the Salvation Army. So I really like that because probably at Old Navy it would have cost like 40 bucks plus, but I got it for five or six, I think. Um, underneath that I have a white turtleneck on, then a blue plaid mini skirt from Romwe. Um, I really like this outfit, it's super cute, and I actually, because this sweater is an extra large, which is weird, I tied a shoelace around my waist. I tucked in my sweater and my turtleneck underneath it to make it look cropped and not cover up my skirt because the sweater is actually almost as long as the skirt is, so I think it did turn out looking pretty well in the pictures in the, in the video, but it was kind of an ordeal to get it tucked in right. But I do really like how it did end up turning out. For shoes in the outfit, I wore Converse. For the next outfit, I was going for a more businessy look. When I was searching for a pin for this outfit, I was kind of um, interested in using some of my mom's business clothes. So I used her old blazer from, I think it's from Ann Taylor. I don't think the picture had a turtleneck, but I like it better with a turtleneck. I don't have any long sleeve white shirts without a um, turtleneck anyway. I'm not exactly sure where my turtleneck came from. We cut the tag out of it, so <laughs> I don't really know, but it's really comfortable. It's kind of big and stretchy, so it kind of slinks around. I was able to get it to sit all right when I was um, modeling it, and I also was wearing jeans from PacSun. They're a bit low-waisted, so I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep them. That's okay, they look good in this picture. And then I have flats on, just black flats with a little bit of shiny at the front. I'm pretty sure the rest of them are matte, but I don't remember where they're from, so just regular black flats. The last outfit I really liked. Um, I'd actually worn something like this before I'd seen this pin. I wore it to Hamilton in London in November last year. A long sleeve black shirt from Primark, this houndstooth mini skirt from Primark, and those tights from Primark. Um, and then also I added a blazer from White House Black Market, but we got this blazer at Goodwill I think, so it was a really good deal 
for um, the quality it is. And then I'm pretty sure I just wore those same combat boots again for this outfit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a really fun time making all of these outfits. It was really interesting to kind of challenge myself to find pins that I was able to recreate because I don't have a super extensive wardrobe, but it was cool to try to put together my items and some of my mom's items and try to make them into cool outfits. So hopefully I will be using some of these outfits and kind of style tips later on to spice up my Instagram feed and just step up my style game. So make sure to check out my Instagram at Rosie Revolts, my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts, and check out my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!